140 a.m. July 26th, 74 degrees in downtown Los Angeles. Making our way, making our way in the world today. Takes everything we got. Am I all right from yesterday? Yes, I'm all right from yesterday. I don't like looking like a little pansy baby live on camera, but it's best that way. It's best that way. Like, let's say that dude beat me up. He would have went to jail. That wouldn't have done his family any good. Brother's in the hospital. And he's in jail. So the dude laying on the ground um, didn't die. The fatal was trapped inside the car. There was two people trapped in the car. There was a female and another victim. I don't know if it was a male or a female. So there's a total of three people involved in that solo vehicle crash. The guy who was upset with me, his brother did survive, but he was the one who was driving. And they uh, they were upset that I was there. The dad didn't didn't mind, but um, the brother I thought was gonna fight. He did make me laugh a couple times, but I didn't correct him, and I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to escalate the issue. With this car earlier on a separate call, and he possibly suffered from a spinal mental illness, or he's possibly under the influence. But I ended up, uh, so I, I did win. Um, on scene, an ANG showed up. Uh, ANG got channel 11, on scene got two and nine. I got four, seven, 52. So I did win. Yay for me! I won. The, his brother was the driver. Yeah, he was trying to blame me for like recording and not helping. But I mean, there's nothing I could, nothing I could do. But yeah, I just look like a big baby pansy backing away from that guy. <laughs> but whatever. No, his brother's not the one who passed away. Uh, where can you see it? It's uh, it's at the end of the last stream. 
And no, I haven't uploaded the footage out of my camera. The only thing that you can see is the live stream. Randy, I don't think anyone was arrested. There's only three people involved, and uh, I mean, he might be arrested later, but they weren't. They weren't concerned about arresting him last night. They were more concerned about saving him. It was a it was a 45 minute extrication, and as soon as we park here, I can show you some of my, uh, I can show you some of my footage. Yeah. Jag, it's always busy. And Rick, um, thank you, I guess. Scott, was that you that uploaded the video of the scooter versus truck? I don't think so. Uh, was anyone arrested? No, no one was arrested. Uh, yeah, I know all my police codes. Uh, right along soon, hopefully. Check. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. So, the video I'm going to show you is the video of that night. Um, now, you guys saw it go down live, but what you didn't see was what I actually chose to record and not record. So, this video goes quick. Um, I do start it off uh, with a money shot. That way, the stations didn't have to look for this shot. Um, so, you're going to see a shot kind of out of order, and then it'll go into order. And then I'll probably skip through it too. On my incident, code six at Pacific Station. Twenty eight hundred and forty-six. Lincoln Boulevard. Suspect entered the vehicle and are now walking on Lincoln Boulevard. Incident three six seven. Eighty-five. Additional your code three ringer on six zero two Park Road Drive. The alarm company call back. The RP is on site inside the vehicle. Uh, it's called a. Uh, it's called Nightcrawler. The movie's called Nightcrawler. I have the sound off. There's two people in that car. No, his brother didn't die. That was his brother being pulled. There's uh his brother survived as of last night. I don't know what happened today. But there's two people still in that car. One has been confirmed deceased. The other they're trying to pull out and that's the footage you saw of that girl. But what that guy did was just make things at the scene worse for everyone. Adam 
No, the guy laying on the ground is not dead. There is no dead guy laying on the ground. The dead person is in the white car. The dead person is in the car, inside the car still. Total of three people. The driver and two passengers. The driver's the guy laying on the ground. He's alive, they transport him. It's possible, Peter. I think they might have found some whippet cans in there. There's the driver right there. That's the dude's brother. I don't know, Chris. I don't know if, uh, if the victim that died was a male or a female. I didn't see. I just saw the top of uh, the top of their head coming up here in a minute. It's really weird how dad, brother, mom, and other friends were there so quick. I don't know if uh, they got the heads up with the phone call or they were all going there. They were all in different vehicles or exactly what happened. I like that shot. But yeah, they're still working to grab uh, an alive victim out of that car. So now now all the alive people are out of the vehicle and it's just uh they're covering up the dead body right now i don't i don't record that after the body's covered uh my camera catches it right there body's under there so yeah, so that was pretty much it. Purple Rain, you're looking at it at a completely different, you're looking at it completely wrong. You want that guy to go to jail, and all that's going to do is make things worse for his family. So now his brother goes to the hospital, and then he goes to jail. Who did that help? That didn't help anyone. Once he calmed down, he calmed down, and he's lucky he didn't go to jail. That's why I don't want to fight him. If he, let's say I would have fought him and he beat me up, he would have went to jail. That wouldn't have helped his family out at all. I was very, very understandable, understanding. I understood why he was upset with me. He also told me to leave a bunch of times. Did you notice I didn't leave? But did you also notice that I didn't engage with him or try to antagonize him or put my camera down and try to throw blows with him? I didn't do any of that. I just backed away, backed away. I did my job, made the money I was supposed to make, did what I was supposed to do. And now here we are the next day talking about it. He's not in jail. He's probably at the hospital visiting with his brother. It was on fig. I don't know, Joy. I don't know who uh, who passed. If it was a family or friend. No Holocaust, Andy. That's not a. That's not a um, true statement. 
people do. People just happen to have the job as a cop. It's not all cops. I guarantee you every cop hater at one point has needed, wanted, and used a cop. Yeah, Angel, and I didn't, and I didn't need to tell him. I didn't need to tell him. I could have easily said, good luck with that. Look, now I get to say it here. That was in uh, Highland Park, Montecito Heights area. Mount Washington area. Just north of downtown. If you're not in Los Angeles, that would be considered the downtown LA area. Los Angeles, whatever. Yeah, Randy, it was. Correction, and ten L40 on the follow-up and route to Vanna's trail with one. Open up under my light. Go ahead, make a right hand turn. Make your next right hand turn. Three. Thirteen and thirteen ninety-three. Thirteen thirty-three. Not yet, LAX. Not that I'm aware of. Not yet. Not yet. Peter is a solo vehicle crash. Get my next unit, Ryan Hurst, north of the tracks, over here by my light right here, guys. Fourth and eight, four nine, Roger. Here, guys, the special paper, there he was. Pierre is no longer at location, does not have a location right now. They're originally in the fourth generation, fifteen seventeen. Because they're separating their location in the top five parts now, around eight, Henry, Edward, Sam. I don't know you. What's going on behind me, guys? Nothing's going on behind me. Cool. Again, Andy, with them false statements. <laughs> I understand you're stating your opinion, and that's cool. It's cool to state your opinion. It's what most, most conversations are. But what you just said, that's definitely not a fact. Where are the stories? Anyone? Anyone? Did they crash? Is it the wrong way driver? Did the wrong way driver just crash? Benjamin, um, yeah, so I decided to start streaming. Uh, MK is doing good. Thanks for asking. MK is doing good.
Uber Eats. Uber Eats. People gotta eat. People gotta eat. Get yourself into the, the baby industry or the food industry. People are always gonna have babies. No one's gonna stop having sex. So people are gonna always have babies. And people are always gonna eat. Those are the two industries that aren't going anywhere. Find uh, find work in those industries. Roger that from an assault. Yeah, we can go ahead with the CP McDonald's parking lot off Crenshaw. Engine three, Roger fire insertion, first and hope. Um, Chris L. Let me see if I can do this right. One million dollars. Did I do it right? Randy. Very nice. Very nice. Like sit down restaurants where someone gives me a menu and I order from it. Or walk in and I order it from a wall. Either way, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, my pinky, that's right, huh? It wasn't, it is the pinky. One million dollars. Yeah, I'll walk in, sit down, get menu. Right on, dude. Right on. That's cool. I, uh, I'm a fan of downtown. Now that I have a family, I'm not such a fan of downtown. <laughs> but I've been a fan of downtown for a while. I mean, it's tattooed on me. I've had a few offices here. I've even lived here. Five boys, six and three, on my alarm. Four, eight, nine, house three. Uh oh, oh. Five, you have a message? George, Sam, seven, four. Do I like arguing with people sometimes? <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. 
$400 donation on his stream? Are you, uh, is that what you guys are saying? That's awesome. 
right here guys big big deals going on Scott. 
My supervisor's name is Scott. It's uh, I know what a coincidence, huh? Same name as mine, but that's uh, that's the name of my supervisor. Jesse, what'd you see him doing? Working? Sitting? Eating? What were they doing?
Hey, uh, we're 42 minutes in and I haven't mentioned Netflix or Shot in the Dark yet. What's wrong with me? Or I haven't mentioned the Loud Labs merch site. Loudlabsmerch.com not very many things on there not very many things on there at all be adding a, a few more here soon yeah but anyways oh that's too far for me that's too far for me that's just rude uh, I the Logo patches are up there. The press patches are not. Press patches will probably be up next week. I'm going to ship them out tomorrow. So he'll get them next week. Hopefully throw them on the site next week. Mendez, what are you talking about? Toddler three to five. What you talking about?
shirt size. Gotcha. What's my views on people's in real time? Except for that one or two times where they don't. Uh, my thoughts on pit bulls is keep them away from kids. It doesn't matter how well behaved the pit bull is. All it takes is one incident. Um, I do believe pit bulls get a bad rap. I owned a pit bull after I owned Huskies. So it was really weird to have a dog that listened. Really weird. But at the same time, I also had a legitimate killer in my home. So, doesn't matter, uh, doesn't matter the circumstances, it's never good to have uh, Pitbull and kids together. But they listen well, like I said, they listen well, except for that, you know, those, the, the time that they don't. Yeah, no joke. I could have told you that. Duh. Ooh, you just ran a red light, I'm telling. Metro I'm telling on you, you just run a red light. Metro 13, second call, you can cancel. Overdose, 5263, Lock Haven Avenue. <laughs> Seizure 1800 West Forest Road Avenue. 
Avenue, Unit 26, or the Gilbert. Mr. Robert V. No locations, and yes, I did. I uh, actually shot it. Um, from the overpass and on the ground, but my overpass stuff is better. Uh, it was before I was live. It was probably around uh, midnight. No, it was around 11, 11 p.m. 10.45, 11 p.m. Robert, upload it to what? I've uploaded it to my upload site, and I've sent it to the stations. I have not uploaded it to YouTube. I won't upload it to YouTube for a few days. I'm a size large. I'm kidding myself when I say that. I'm probably really an extra large because I've gained some weight, but I'm a large. Like The shirt I'm wearing is a large. It's a little tight. It's a little uncomfortable, but... That's the fashion. Ugh. Extra large is more comfortable, but they just look like I'm wearing my dad's clothes. Mario, um... Um, 
Mobile Relay in Paramount, California. They might be able to help you. And Robert V. There you go. There you go. Yeah, Andrew, the last thing I want to do is get in a fight with the victim's brother. It's not going to help anybody. I just look like a big wimpy pansy boy backing away from him trying to say things he wants to hear redirecting his uh, his negative to have him focus on other things besides me. It all worked out in the end, though. It's 99, rescue 99, shooting 139, Durham Road, plus a cross up a Clarendon. There's the valley again. Uh, Yoshi, your phone. Your phone. Just get a gimbal, and your phone's probably the best camera. It's definitely the best camera you own, uh, but you won't have to invest any money. Just spend 40 bucks on a gimbal. Yeah, Rustin, it is or was. I don't think so, Mario. I don't think so. Yeah, frazzled sucks. I do know for a fact that some stringers would have gotten their car, drove away, and then waited for police and fire to show up and then went back to the scene. I know that for a fact. Why? Oh, why? Why would they be attached? Don't tell me what to do. How rude. Under accident, my sister, Adam, hitting Ida John, Ocean 72, Adam hitting Ida John, Ocean 72. All right, Mario. So that's the third That's the third thing in a row now. We get it. You know, you know that stories take place. Okay, BG, that might be true. But can a chihuahua rip your finger off? Come to the front of Wilshire Station at the gate. A, uh, no, it can't. Uh, yes, Joy, I am. Uh, it was called Stringers LA. 
it's called Stringer's LA. If you're tra you're not going to change my mind about defending against pit bulls. I like pit bulls. I believe they all should have a chance, but I don't believe that they should be around children. Nope. I mean, let's let's if we're talking about it like this, we can say cats are straight killers. Cats are killers, but yet we surround ourselves with them and love them and cuddle and purr and do all that stuff. But cats are straight up serial killers, straight up killers. But they don't have the power to mess up a child. They could scratch them up pretty good, but you're not going to kill them. A dog could literally kill a child, rip its face off, could rip its limbs off. Joy, that's not it either. I mean, yes, some of it is the owner, but some of sometimes it's just the dog and the way they're bred. What's up, David? Hello, David. Hello, David. You have five, they're like kids. Yeah. But put one kid in that situation and see how that works out for you. They're very uh, protective. <laughs> we can all agree on that, right? They're the best at what they do. They listen better than any other other dog, but they also kill better than any other dog. They are the best at what they do. Like I said, I've never had a dog listen so well. Never had a dog listen so well. David, exactly. How's she doing, man? Um, did it get her in the face or just uh, just the arms? It's, it's usually the face. He messed up her hand. Okay, cool. It's not cool, but what it could have been, the hand is is is, is good. Trust me. What's a bummer? So now here, 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 David. Uh, here's the question. Here's the question. All right. So my granddaughter was just sex. So that means it was uh, your son or your daughter, right? Either way. What are they gonna do with the dog? Because there's a chance that that dog has been in the family longer. There's uh, uh that's very true, Chris. So what what are they what are they gonna do? Or uh, yeah, Randy, they do. They do attack just for no reason. 
It's your, son, it's your son's, it's your son. All right, so yeah, they need to put that dog to sleep. Yeah, so here's the thing, David. The way I look at it, and, I, and I'm telling you this from personal experience, as soon as that dog attacks a family member, it's not a family member anymore, it's a dog. What you just said right there, yeah, they need to put that dog to sleep. They do, it's a dog, it's not a family member anymore. And, and, and for uh, the person here who has five of those family members, I'm sorry, but at that point, once that dog attacks that child, it is just a dog. So here is, uh, here's something I've never shared with, uh, with most people. Um, if you guys ever noticed a picture of Dade, Dade has a scar from here all the way down to here and a little bit here. If you ever noticed, Dade has a scar from here. So Mason, my pit bull, and I were in my bedroom, in my bed, watching TV. Lisa and Dade walked in the room. All they did was open the door and turn the light on. Mason jumped out of bed latched her face on Dade's face and went to the ground. I had to jump out, grab Mason's mouth, pry her mouth off of Dade's face. And I tossed her. And I might have hit her a couple times. But the moment that she bit my son, she wasn't a part of the family anymore. This is like three years ago, so that's why I'm okay, comfortable talking about it for the most part. Because of my job, I knew not to call 911. If I called 911, I would have found somebody I know with a camera at my house filming Dade going to the ambulance, would have filmed the dog being taken away. So I grabbed, I didn't grab the baby because I couldn't. I couldn't grab the baby. Um, she grabbed the baby and I said, How, how's, how's his mouth or how's his face? And she goes, his lip is gone. So we jumped in my work car, drove to the hospital. And then from there, we found out he was going to be transported to a trauma center for emergency plastic surgery to his face. I drove back home, got some stuff. We hung out at the hospital. That next morning, I drove home and called... I, 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 I called the animal place and was one of the worst days, worst 24 hours of my life. Was having to... There was no way I was going to keep that dog and let Dade have to deal with that again. And then what crossed my mind is all the times, what about all the times they hung out alone? Downstairs eating chicken McNuggets together while I was upstairs with, uh, with the missus or whatever. And the two were downstairs by themselves. I'm glad I was there. It could have been worse. The sad part, Dave thinks I saved him that day. Dave remembers me grabbing the dog off his face. Dave thinks I saved him. I don't look at it that way. That would have never happened if I didn't have that dog in my home. But when I got that dog, I didn't have any children. I didn't have any children. So, I can't believe I just shared that story with you guys. I've never shared that story with, uh, with, with anybody who's not a uh, family or friend. But yeah, when you see Dade, you'll see he has a scar right here. And that's because uh, a pit bull took his face off. Worst day of my life. Worst day of my life. Um, I didn't try to find an odor. I did not want my friend to have the dog because that means I would have known where the dog was. I had one friend who was upset that I gave the dog to the pound, but I explained to him that I couldn't go to your house and hang out. And, and it was sad for me to get rid of that dog. It was my best friend. That dog was my best friend. But what it did overseeded being my best friend. My best friend. Uh, Kems, it's my uh, it's my older son, not not baby Bronson. It's uh, it's Dade. It was Dade. Dade's seven now. This happened to Dade when he was three. But um, yeah. So whenever that pit bull talk comes around, they say they don't attack for no reason. You think I was ever mean to my pit bull? Do you think I was ever rude or smacked my pit bull? No. What happened was the dog and I were sitting in bed together. They walked in, the dog jumped out of bed and grabbed him, pushed him against the wall and took him to the ground. So yeah.
Any Devonshire unit, roommate dispute, restraining order violation, 10643 at Line Avenue, code 2, incident 0522, RD727. Oh, I'm pretty sure she thought she was protecting me, Randy, but the thing is, she knew Dade and she knew Lisa. She knew him at that point probably for at least a year. Right? Maybe, maybe less, maybe less. But still, that was just no way, no way. She was the greatest dog ever, but all of a sudden, she decided to fight a space. And like, I mean, they are great pets if you don't have any children around. And like I said, pit bulls are good at what they do. They listen better than any other dog around, and they kill better than any other dog around. Those are the two things they're really good at, listening and killing. So um, I think it was David I was speaking with. David, that's why I said the hand, sweet. At least, I mean, I'm sure she'll, ho hopefully it didn't take pieces of the hand away and hopefully through time they can fix it. Like Dade's scar will always be there, but he's going to, he, he's, he's gonna have that scar forever. She'll probably have that scar forever, but hopefully her hand isn't deformed. And that's why I said, you know, wh where'd it get her? Cause I, I have experience with it. I have experience of, being in the hospital, going through surgeries, coming home, not being able to talk, eating through a straw. Uh, frazzled. Um, he did. He absolutely did. He absolutely did. I think there's a picture of him on my Instagram. You'd have to go back, but there's a picture of him drawing, and you can see that. I didn't say why we were at the hospital, I just said we were at the hospital and you can kind of see some bandages around him. And it was crazy because a friend of mine who's an artist did some art in that hospital and then we happened to be in the place where he did the art. So, and his name was Gregory also, so I took a picture of, uh, of it and posted that. And, uh, but you can see in the hospital and you can see the date and you'll see how little Dave was. And then uh, I might have left one picture, maybe left one picture of Mason on my Instagram, but I did go through and delete them. I deleted a lot of them. I did. I just didn't want to have that memory. But I'm pretty sure I left at least one picture out. She was a really good dog. She was a really good dog. She helped me. She helped me. Uh, kids and golf is good. Kids and golf is good. Last time I golfed, um, I started with a, a par birdie par, and then the beer caught up, and I didn't do so well. Uh, the popper pepper. Um, it all has to do with uh, the artist named Loud Labs. The artist named Loud Labs uh, used to be my roommate, and then we were buddies together. And it was time for me to do my own company. I was helping him. Uh, I was helping him promote his art at the time. So I figured if I put Loud Labs on TV, that'll help promote his art, and then it turned into uh, where we are today. Um, David, I know you said what they should do. What are they going to do? What are they going to do with the dog? Your son doesn't want to lose his best friend, but your son also knows what that dog just did to his daughter. And it's not fair for his daughter to ever have to go back to that home again with the dog. And then let's say they give it to a friend. Now they have to, they know that that friend, like you, do you talk to that friend? Like, hey, how's my dog? Or you're like, 
forget that dog you know it's like once that dog does that it's not it's not it's it's it, it, it's, it's a dog it's not a, a family member anymore Gotcha. So it happened on her mom's watch? Her mom can't keep the dog. There's no way. You're there's no way, especially if your dad, if your dad, especially if your son's a cop, he should be able to take some sort of legal action to get that dog out of there. I'm surprised he didn't shoot it. Let's be honest. I'm surprised he didn't shoot it. And it's justifiable. If shooting it in the action of, if you shoot it afterwards, I don't think that's justifiable. At least not here in California. Maybe in like Kentucky. <laughs> hey, Rob. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I know, Chris, right? You would have shot it. Roger. Yeah, you have to do something. You have to do something, David. You can't let that. You can't let the the baby go back home with that dog there. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So your son wasn't there when it took place. And uh, what's the story? I think you. I think you did say it. I think you said she just walked in the room or something. Or is that my story? Maybe I'm getting my story confused with your story. Bam, thank you. Thank you, Yoshi. Gotcha. Just in their house petting the dog. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. Damn, some funny money coming in. Thank you. Time is it three? Oh wow! Oh wow! Uh, I've been working. Um, I've been working since about eight fifteen. I've had some ride-alongs with me until about midnight fifteen, and about midnight fifteen they left. It looks like Loud Labs is possibly expanding to Baltimore, Maryland, and that's why I asked yesterday if anybody on here was from Baltimore. But uh, it looks like very possible Loud Labs Baltimore is in the works. Yay! Central unit, 
I'm staying at ABW Suspect there now, 821 and a half West 82nd Street, 821 and a half West 82nd Street, Suspect from a black 43 years, wearing a black shirt, dark pants, a top of victim of Holly Force, and attempts to cut victim with a large machete, called 3 and 7, 057 C30 1266. Uh, the Papa Peppa, or Prepper, the Pop, the, the Papa Prepper. Um, I didn't know I had a passing shot at all. Um, if you watch the passing shot, you'll actually hear, you'll hear me typing on a computer. I'm doing some computer work. Um, and I, usually I turn my dash cam off when I'm sitting, but for some reason I, I accidentally left it on, did the typing, left. If I would have made a right as I left that gas station, I would have ran into the crash, but I actually didn't make a right. I went, instead of going south, I went east. Then I started hearing the call and you can, you can hear it and see it all play out live on the, um, on the dash cam footage. Started hearing the call, made my way to it. And that's what you guys saw. Then went home, went to sleep, woke up to emails and uh, voicemails wanting national footage because they found out who was in the vehicle. Then I heard what he had done and I was like, oh, let me check my, uh, no, BG, I am not on the CX network. Um, well, maybe I am. But no, I'm not. Um, so once I heard that he was flying down um, Highland, ran a light at, uh, not ran a light, we didn't, I didn't know he ran the light yet. When I heard he was flying down um, Highland when he crashed, I went back and looked at my footage, found saw him fly by looked at the light and i was like oh my god he ran the red light cx is in the chat i thought cx uh is gone right he's uh cx network is no longer Ooh, Jesse! Thank you. Two dollar, make me holla. Woo, woo! Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. We have a winner. Step right up. Step right up. No BG, you've heard me say it and I'll say it again. My parents are the ones that made me. And I'm the one who made me what I am today. Duh! Jeez. If anything, he made you. He made you sound like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, and in, that was like three months ago. That was like three months ago. Uh, Mendez, a YouTuber. A YouTuber. See that applesauce thing? <laughs> 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 
My Peter Brady pork chops and applesauce. Pork chops and applesauce. Pork chops and applesauce. Number one wearing a red or burgundy jersey with matching pants. Numbers two through five are for the description. To monitor for additional code to incident 586. Uh, Lermer. Yes and no. So the guy that was laying on the ground, he survived. There were two people trapped in that white vehicle. There's three people total involved. One was the guy laying on the ground. He was transported. He did not die. One person in the car did die, and one female was transported out of that car. Mendez, no. We didn't feed it till after midnight. So it hasn't had an opportunity to air yet. Come on, man. Seven, eight, 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 seven, eight
Mendez, uh, nobody, nobody's raiding anything. Yes, people are going to show up. Yes, people will be not sober. Yes, people will be listening to music. It's turning into a festival. Nobody is going to rush an American government base. What they're going to do is they're going to party in the desert around a government American base. But, uh, no, nobody's rushing anything. Not unless you can run it. There's so much, just so much space. You, you just can't. But to answer your question, all of us, <laughs> all of us, be watching. Yeah, I think it'll be an, a an annual thing. And which is, uh, I mean, I guess cool for that city. That city, if somebody was to just buy a campground once a year, that campground is going to get filled. Start building hotels and restaurants and stuff. Alright, so here's the intersection of the hit and run felony. I was just coming by to see if it's a uh, vehicle versus ped or what it is. So the fact that they do not have this intersection blocked, it's definitely not a vehicle ped, fatal, anything like that. Oh, maybe it is. Is that a camera? What is that? Is that a guy on a bike or is that a camera? That's a guy with a bike. That's so funny. So you see that guy with the bike about coming into frame? I couldn't tell if he was holding a tripod or what. That guy right there. That's so funny. <laughs> tripod and that was a, a stringer.
Jesse, 50. We figured this out the other night. There's probably about 50 stringers in the LA market. But you have to understand that. That covers one, two, three, four, five, five or six counties. LA, Orange County, Ventura, Riverside, San Bernardino. And uh, the TV show is not helping it, or hasn't helped it. The TV shows ha has not helped with the uh, the number of stringers. It's made things a little worse. What's up with that loom up in front of us?
loud though that was loud I'm in America oh county <laughs> they said what country what county I was born and raised in Orange County I live in LA County now I look Latino, but my name's Scott. Hi, my name's Scott. <laughs> my dad is a uh, half, uh, I was gonna say half German. Um, no, that's me. My dad is half Spanish, half Mexican. My mom's full German. But, in all honesty, my dad is American and my mom is American and I'm American. But my mom's parents were born in Germany. My dad's parents were born in Spain and Mexico. No. Grandparents. Grandpa, maybe. Grandma born here. Either way, you get the gist of it. Uh, my wife uh, didn't say anything about it. She's just glad it didn't um, escalate. She's just glad it didn't escalate. Okay, 
you can show the tax and all that call on that. Nine six seven, you still need four to eight seventy three to respond to your location. In a white t shirt. Code two incident six two one, Argent two thirty six. Any closing shot in the key to verify location. La Palma. Brea. about to say goodbye to y'all. I think that's kind of what's happening here. Nah, scary. You haven't missed anything tonight. Have we got out of the car yet tonight? I don't think we have, huh? I have. But I don't think I was live when I got out of the car. Can you put... I believe it's 90 Frazzled, uh, the one on La Palma and Walker, cross street from the hospital. I know the spot. 37, I'll be closer to that on 63. I was going to say near, uh, near City Hall. But you're actually closer to, uh, you got the library, then the police station, then the fire station. It's been a while. Uh, I was just there uh, last weekend, and I think I'm going there tomorrow. No, Ty, that shooting that you probably heard on the scanners was another city. That's the Reseda shooting. What you guys did was, while I was on, while I was on my way to that call, you heard the Reseda shooting going down. The one where the dude shot his mom, dad, brother, and then went to a gas station, shot two people, and then got on a bus and shot another. You heard some of that story going down. My story had nothing to do with the shooting. I'm guessing you're asking that because you heard it on the scanner as you just rewatched it, right? No, Vasquez, I was supposed to. I got kicked out of the district when I went to Walker, so they made me go to Buena Park. But I was supposed to go to Kennedy. I live closer at the time. Vasquez, why are you asking all these questions? Uh, 73 degrees right now. I'm waiting for Vasquez to ask me how old I am, then my birthday, and then my social. 
and the name of my first pet. Can I get all information, please? One eight one zero five six seven. Mother's maiden name, right? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll say this about my mother's maiden name: it's very Jewy. <laughs> my mother's maiden name is very Jewy. All units, one eight twenty three, responding code three from. Flying 11 to California Hospital with RA10. Hello, where do I go? Hello, where do I go? 1182 watch 5 and at 11 Adam 86 watch 4 and watch. Are you a robot? I am not a robot. I am well, a. 1182 over Larry, I feel like that story wasn't too long ago, but for some reason I can't. I think I remember now. It was near the near the mall, right? Was that it? It was near the mall. Ah, uh, Larry, it was that lady. I remember now. I think it was that lady. What were you doing there, Larry? The black four door was that team driving on the southeast side of the lot. Close to one six three one RD nine three two. Were you there with all those other people with that camera? Oh, you live in the area. I don't know what was up with that. I don't know what was up with that crowd, that group, those people that had signs, those people that had uh, cameras. I don't know what the, what they were doing. I have no idea. Uh, 516. I have no idea. You have to be a little more specific. If it was shot within the past few days, you can't find it on YouTube. If it was shot within the past few years, you can probably find it on YouTube if we shot it. So you can research and find it out if you want. Suspects are now left in a Pico. Suspects are two male, white, or Hispanic. Number one wearing a black shirt, light blue jeans. Number two wearing a dark shirt, tan beige shorts. Manalizing a billboard on the corner at that location. Code 2 incident 0634 and 4762. College Street, 3rd Avenue. Phoenix Surgery Center. 378, watch 4, 4120, watch 5, still show long down, or those units in the watch. 21, code blue, 530, 28, 31. Roger, there's a watch. Roger. Forty-three. We are no longer at location. Twenty-one, twenty-one. Did you receive? Twenty-one, seven, six, five, three, zero, twenty-eight, thirty-nine, and ten. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, lefty's tattoo, city of orange. Lefty's tattoo, city of orange. Go to J Dog. The owner's name is also Jason, but ask for J Dog. J Dog is not a lefty. Hispanic, 
Oh, come on, man. I could use a story. What's up, buddy? All right. Well, I think we're going to say goodbye. I kind of think that's what's going to happen. Right? Code 2, you're not out, are you? Yes, you're not out, or yes, you are out? Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't think you're out because you haven't gone to a couple things that you definitely would have went to. So my guess is you're at home enjoying your rest, watching me. Well, thank you for watching me. Oh, yes, you are out. Well, then what the heck, man? Why aren't you going on to 57 and the 10? Copy, copy, copy. Then what are you doing watching me? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's keeping busy is what he's doing. It's boring sitting between the calls. Excuse me. I got a story. Uh, Benjamin, yes, I have actually. I uh, I helped somebody shoot the fatal in the 710, and I shot a man with a gun who was shooting at vehicles that caught the man. Team Eel 1, Code 6, Fox and Laurel Canyon on 2. Give us a balance for 0, South Hobart Boulevard, Code 2 is at 6, 3, 0, and RD 20, 33. Andrew, I agree. Uh, Benjamin, depends on how you look at things. It all depends on how you look at things. <laughs> The fatal on the 710 was at about uh, 1030 Thursday night. Scary Scooby, I'm with you. I mean, I'm not moving with you, but I'm with you. What do I mean, Benjamin? Well, was it tonight or yesterday? I, it, both, yes. The answer is yes. It was tonight and it was yesterday. The answer to that question is yes. Yes, we were, Jesse. You want to see the footage? I'll show it to you. 
This is what I shot. So there's that, and then here is what it looks like. Nope, I guess not. This is what it looked like from uh, the ground. Excuse me, a burp. Drop 
So we've been going well over uh, two hours. I just want to, just wanted to take you guys out of the car. I don't think I'll take you guys out of the car. Two eight zero zero Thomas Street. Looks like we're lacking Nissan Thomas in a white four door unknown make and model vehicle, possible Nissan Altima unknown plate. Looks like for three male Hispanic light complexion wearing dark hooded, correction black hooded sweatshirts. Number one was armed with a two by four. Number two armed with an unknown revolver. Are we taking more cell phones, wallets, and U.S. currency? It's code 2, it's in a 0665 and an RD 416. Hello, the cell phone from the station. Excellent, what's that, sir? Every 55 is funny, code 3 from Harbor Station to 311 North Gabby. Hello, Frank, can you come to the station for a station call? Uh, Ellen, they extricated a victim, and then we found out what actually happened. It was a solo vehicle crash, speed was definitely related, possible drugs, and the driver, the kid laying on the ground, he did survive. There were two people trapped in the white car, one of them was pronounced DOA at the scene, the other person was transported. The suspect was attempting to hit the victim with a skateboard. Excellent, what is that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Penalty ambulance traffic, Western and 84th Police, Western and 84th Police, Pacific Rim, 10th District, 2 and 12th District. Oh my goodness gracious, please! I have 31 to 23 from Southwest Station to the 84th Police. Can you show me your time, Anthony? Hello, man. Incident 668 and RD 111. Zabrina, mostly my market. I mostly stick to my market. Alright, um... I'm over it. I'm over it, so, uh... Alright guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will be out over the weekend. I don't know my schedule so i'm not gonna say a time but i will be out over the weekend uh thank you to those who donated thank you to those who continue to support what it is i do and uh thank you for being you and i'll continue being me remember tomorrow is promised to no one later losers